The idea behind Koshan Voy 5, Grand Koshan, and the Koshan US Tour is that we're trying to bring the conversation of healthier, safer, better eating to the tabletop. We've got farmers who put every single bit of energy into these amazing animals, the chefs who are putting every single bit of extra attention and detail into their food, into their plates. Two people who really care about what they're doing and they want to give their consumer or their guests the best product possible. So when you look at heritage breed pigs, you're talking about just basically saving family farms. Koshan 555 is the kind of food event that actually changes the way we look at food. On the local Koshan 555s, they're going for the prince or princess of pork. If they win, they go to Grand Koshan. What they win there is the national title, and they can either be the king or queen of pork for the year. Grand Koshan to me is a movement, right? The underground is way bigger than the surface. What makes the tour unique and powerful is that we tap into and we bolster culinary communities across the country. We'd like to say we're the equivalent to a rock and roll culinary tour. From chefs to winemakers, farmers to diners, bartenders to psalms, we give people from all ways of hospitality a reason to come together in one space and place. I think there's something very powerful about the tour in that it's a national tour. So it sets trends nationally, it works with high level chefs across all media markets, but it's also really local. We go to Chicago, we get chefs using the influences from the Polish community, the Italian community. Go to Miami, we see Latin, we see Brazilian. And this, this dual character is something for us that's, that's really special. While engaging and extending our message in a very powerful way, dozens of our markets that we go to each year all follow in one simple mission, the safe food movement. The demographics of Koshan 5 is that of opinion shapers and influencers. Two overlapping circles. They come in equal numbers and with the same enthusiasm. We've got our regular guests, six-figure incomes, passion for food experiences. We've got the industry and the insiders. They are the most important members of the culinary community, and we appeal to them both on a national and a local level. From the kitchen to the dining room, our demographic is a dedicated crowd that creates and leads trends and doesn't merely follow them. Young women who are excelling in their careers in their early 30s and 40s who come in groups with their friends instead of just going to the restaurant at night. I see lots of creative guests, people doing interesting things in advertising and digital marketing. And I even see boomer generations who still love staying current with what's going on in the culinary scene. From the moment you walk in the door, to the moment you think about it a year later. Every aspect of the event is curated. We believe in the power of telling a story and the emotional connection that points our guests in the right direction. What they're looking for, safe, responsible, premium luxury. We have a one hour pop-up ramen bar with kind of racy white German wines. Koshan is not just cooking for a single market or a single day, it's really cooking for a cause. All of our events include 100 plus cooks, chefs, restaurant, bar owners, renowned sommeliers, the best barkeeps in the city, and many more of the industry's most important decision makers. They come together, they work together, they create luxurious moments of taste that cause many of our guests to stop, think, and consider. If you want your finger on the pulse of what's happening in each market, Koshan 505 is it.